Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the error code 800-916 on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to delete the contents of the NGC folder. Now the first thing you have to do is close Outlook, then open File Explorer and head over to the following location. This PC, then double click on your C drive, afterwards go to Windows, so scroll down until you find the Windows folder, expand it, then scroll down until you find Service Profiles, double click on it, afterwards expand Local Service, then make sure to open up App Data, if you can't see it, click on the View tab and then head over to Show and select Hidden Items. Now expand App Data, then go to local, afterwards open up Microsoft and then open up the NGC folder. And the last thing you have to do in here, delete all the contents displayed in this folder. So shift and delete and click on yes, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to delete work or school accounts. To do this, press the Windows button, then head over to settings, now click on accounts on the left pane and then scroll down until you find the access work or school section. Now click on this one and if you have any work or school accounts in here, simply disconnect them. You can also delete them if you want to, but first of all, try to disconnect them to see if the problem still persists. If not, delete them, then restart your computer and check if the issue is gone. Next in line, another useful solution is to rename the AAD Broker Plugin folder. Now to do this, open up an instance of File Explorer, then head over to your C drive, afterwards scroll down until you find the Users folder and expand it, then double click on your username, afterwards expand App Data, then head over to Local, and lastly locate Packages and open it up. Now make sure to scroll down until you locate this specific folder, AAD Broker Plugin, and it starts with C, W5 and so forth and so on. Now simply copy this folder by pressing Ctrl and C and paste it on your desktop. Super simple, right? The next thing you have to do in here, rename this remaining folder. So click on it, press F2 and simply add the dot old ending to it. Now simply go back and relaunch Outlook and see if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to uninstall and reinstall Outlook. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Outlook and then on the right side, make sure to check out the options. If you don't see the uninstall option, just click on the expand menu and then select the uninstall option. After uninstalling Outlook, head over to Microsoft Store, so press the Windows button, type in Store and select it as a search result. And of course in here, click on the search box, type in Outlook and press on Enter. And as soon as you will see Outlook for Windows, click on it and then select the Get button to install. Now you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.